at it again, y'all. Did you see Callie there before she got up? She's my partner outside. She likes to go everywhere with me. But look, I want to show you. I fed my squirrels for the day. That little squirrel feeder, see that screw sticking up right there? You're supposed to put an ear of corn and screw it down on there. And I did that for the first year. But there's so many squirrels out here, they can empty that ear of corn in about five minutes and bind it by a big bag full of dried ears of corn was expensive so i just buy deer corn now and pour it on that thing and they come and they drop a bunch on the ground and then when they drop a bunch on the ground that attracts the wild pigs and you can see right over there where the wild pigs been digging up my ground i'm not happy about the wild pigs but I don't care. I guess if they're hungry, I'll feed them too. I'll feed everybody else. I'll refill the bird feeder this morning. Let me go show you that. My red birds and my blue birds are back. And there's a bunch of finches. There's the bird feeder. There's a bunch of finches that come out here. And a bunch of sparrows. But I keep it full or pretty full now mostly for the red birds. I love those things. Before the flood, there were seven red bird couples, seven males and seven females. After the flood, there weren't any the first year, but they are coming back now. I've got four couples of them already. And let me come over here and show you my bees. I fed them this morning. Fed Odie and Callie first. Odie, my little dachshund and Callie, my calico cat. I fed them first. They look at the bees. I got bees on my hand already. They're my buddy. They're not my bees, I don't know whose they are. I've tried to find their hive and I got no idea where their hive is. But there's not any flowers blooming no pollen for them right now so they come to me begging for breakfast every day and i give them breakfast every day i love watching them i could stand here and watch them all day there's bees on my hand but that's that right here i'll show you where i harvested and there's still bees on my hand I harvested those two heads of cabbage yesterday to start making sauerkraut and I took like six or eight of those big leaves that comes up around the heads of cabbage and cooked them and ate them for my supper last night and I got bees all over me and I also picked one head of broccoli my first broccoli of the winter and ate it along with the cabbage. That's the beets in the middle. And they're doing good. They're not ready yet, but they're coming along pretty good. Can you see down in there? All you can see is just the tops of them. And they're, they're making pretty good beets. I had, had a nice harvest of beets last year. And I made a lot of pickled beets. And this white lattice work, I'm going to someday cut it in half lengthwise and get some of that insulated that foam insulation board that you put around the outside of houses before you put the exterior sheathing or whatever on anyway i'm going to get some of that and glue to the back of these these are plastic they're not the wooden ones and uh cut them in half lengthwise here and then use half and half with that foam insulating board and put around a skirting for my camper to hopefully make it warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer I've heard that that works great that's what I bought it for I just hadn't done it yet I got so much to do my radish is just about done their thing I planted I think four plantings staggered out so I'd have radishes last longer and this is the last of them and you can see I got 
so I'm right there right there and right there there's a lot of them 